Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to create hyperlinks to help you navigate in your workbook from worksheet to worksheet, but how to deal with this when your worksheet names might change. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a summary worksheet plus three other worksheets one named Fred, which has $20 in cell B2, Tony has 30, and Jane has 40. And so what I've created here is just a simple scenario where I'm using the indirect formula and referencing the cell A2 here, or A3 and A4, to pull in the worksheet name so that I can get a total or pull in the value that's in cell B2 in any one of those worksheets. And then I get a grand total at the bottom. So if you have a scenario where you might have 20, 30, 40 worksheets and you want to easily navigate between them without having to scroll through the bottom to find those worksheets, you can use hyperlinks. So for example, if I right clicked here and went down to link and I said, go to a place in this document, I will go to the worksheet named Fred and cell A1, I'll say OK, and notice now it's created a hyperlink. And when I click on that, it takes me to the worksheet Fred and to cell A1. Now the problem exists here if for some reason you need to have a document where you need the flexibility to change the worksheet names. So for example, if I changed Fred here to Joe, went back to my worksheet, now it breaks my formula, but I can easily fix that by just changing this to Joe, and that works. But when I click on the hyperlink, now I get an error that's telling me the reference is not valid. Because when I look at the hyperlink, if I click on edit hyperlink, Notice it wants to go to Fred, but Fred doesn't exist anymore with cell A1. So how do we create a scenario where it doesn't matter what the worksheet name is? Well, the way to do that is using defined names rather than cell references. So for example, if I went over to the worksheet named Joe, and I went to cell A1, clicked on the name box, and I could name this whatever I want. I'm just going to say AAA. So now that cell is named AAA. And if I go to my formula bar, name manager, and click edit, you'll see the name is AAA and it references Joe, cell A1. So now if I go to my summary worksheet, click on this link, I still get that reference is invalid. But if I right click, edit that link and instead of referencing Joe in cell A1, I'll reference the defined name. I'll say OK. Now when I click on this link, it takes me to that cell named AAA, regardless of where in my workbook that is. And if I change the name of my worksheet to Fred, and I fix that here and change it to Fred, so I get the right cell pull there. When I click on this link, it still takes me to the cell I wanted, which is named AAA on the worksheet named Fred, cell A1. And if I go to my name manager and click edit, notice it used to say Joe cell A1. Now it says Fred cell A1. So Excel automatically adjusts when you make that change when using defined names. And that's how you can do this in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy Excelling.